Hey, what's up workout buddies? Welcome back to the channel. Today I have a total body workout with dumbbells for you guys. If you don't have any dumbbells, you can use water bottles or other household containers that bear some weight. All right, let's get started. Our first exercise is the deadlift. So start with your feet shoulders width apart, engage your core to keep your back straight, have a slight bend in your knee, especially if you're using heavier weights than me. I personally like lighter weights and keeping my legs straight to get more of that stretch effect on the back of my legs and more strength for my core. But please do bend your legs more if you're using heavier weights and looking for more of a strength effect on your legs. So slowly bend for as you lower the weights close to your feet. Now return to standing and squeeze your glutes at the top. Keep your core engaged as you repeat. Slow and controlled motion, you guys. The next one is the reverse lunge with a twist. So grab one or two dumbbells, I'm going with one, and hold them close to your torso. Now lunge back with the right leg and twist over to the left. Reverse and do the same thing with the other sides. Next one is the good old bicep curls. Have a good grip on your dumbbells, one in each hand. Now keep your elbows close to your torso, palms facing forward. Take an inhale in the starting position. Exhale as you curl your weights up. Repeat with each breath. So we're doing deadlift again for the next one, but this time we're going to add an upright row. So do your deadlift first, come up to starting position, squeeze those glutes. Now bring the dumbbells up to your chest, elbows out to the side, reverse and repeat. Next one is going to be step backs with a forward raise. Grab your dumbbell or dumbbells and keep them in front of your thighs. Now step back and raise the dumbbell in front of you. Reverse and repeat with the other leg.
you made it halfway so we're doing one of my favorite exercises of all time which is the skier swings so have a really really good grip on your dumbbells it's really important for this one so you don't accidentally throw them and injure someone swing the dumbbells behind you pushing your hips back as far as you can now thrust your hips forward squeeze those glutes at the top and swing those dumbbells forward simultaneously exhale as you swing those dumbbells behind you inhale as you reverse beautiful you guys For the next one, we're going to go down onto our backs, have the soles of your feet on the floor and knees bent. We're doing bridge. So hold your dumbbells over your thighs, relax your arms so the weight is on those legs. Come up into your bridge, squeeze your glutes at the top, reverse, slowly and repeat. Three exercises left, you guys. Don't give up. You got this. Come up to sitting, balancing on your butt. Have a good grip of your dumbbell. Now lean back, engaging your core muscles, trying to keep your back straight. Relax your neck and your face. Now twist from side to side. Slow and controlled motion. Alright, go all the way down onto your back again. Now bring your feet slightly off the floor. Grab your dumbbells and start with your arms straight overhead. Crunch up, bring your knees and arms towards the middle of your body. Reverse and repeat. Alright, bend your knees, bring the soles of your feet flat on the floor again, and come up into your bridge and hold. Grab your dumbbell and have a really good grip. It's really important for this exercise as well so you don't hurt yourself. Start with your arms straight above your face. Now slowly bend your elbows, lowering the dumbbell close to the top of your head. Reverse and repeat. Thank you. 
Great job, you guys. So if you're one of those really strong and conditioned people and you need more to feel something, go ahead and repeat this workout two more times with heavy weights and let me know how it goes in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for working out with me. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in the next one.